I know the farm shop very well, and it is indeed, as you say, very close to Adelaide Cottage. I don't know whether this was a staged performance or whether they just happened to go shopping and they're very recognisable, so people will have seen them. But it's certainly good news to know that she's up to a short expedition like that. I mean, we've seen her also, a couple of images of her in a car, um, some some shown over here and some not. Um, so, you know, we know she's up and about, which is which is very good news. The children are at school and I mean, they're very much, as far as I understand, into the school runs and, and taking a part as modern parents do at matches and so forth. So that again is very positive news. As far as all the nonsense of last week is concerned, um, at some stage, it would be interesting if it went a little stage further, perhaps. It has been interesting uh, to, to work out what's been going on in the last week. I mean, on Mother's Day, it seemed a, a very nice idea to produce a photograph of mother and children. It's something that I would, I'd been rather hoping to see. Also, it came out um, three weeks before uh, we were told we were going to be told anything at all about Catherine, because it said that she would definitely not be undertaking any duties until at least Easter. So that seemed to be very positive. And then unfortunately, the fact that the t picture had been touched up as as all and many, many pictures have been and are, uh, meant to say that it didn't fulfil its purpose of reassuring us because the picture could have been tampered with, it could have been taken some weeks before. It didn't actually show, you know, a, a mother getting better. So, um, and then everybody went into overdrive rather unfairly. And people have been very unkind about Catherine because she's clearly gone through... Um, a big operation and needs time to recuperate and and we we love her dearly she does a fantastic job and it's a pity that people have taken this sort of attitude towards her well i think a lot of the things that the sussexes and their trolls do are a waste of time quite frankly um they are not a part of the working royal family they are unlike william and catherine who are working for the nation uh for us doing good things for britain and the commonwealth they are doing things for themselves. That is the difference. So I don't really take very seriously what they or their henchmen get up to, quite honestly. I hope um, that her appearance at the weekend will be an entirely positive, albeit small, step. I agree. I think that I noticed in the course of last week that after the uh, first of all, the photograph was well received when it first came out and then it was criticised later. But as the week went on, I think the general attitude, certainly over here in Britain and amongst intelligent people was, oh, come on, you know, leave her alone. Let her get better at her own pace. Um, we admire her and respect her. And um, why are we treating her as if she's some sort of a, a criminal for having maybe, you know, tried to improve a photograph one way or another? Um, it was very unattractive what was done last week, but I think the sympathy is absolutely there. So I agree with you. I think that her recent appearances will certainly be a great advantage, and let's hope so. Everybody should be allowed to have some privacy about health matters. In the past, the royal family would never have told you anything at all. Um, and I guess, like so many other things, this can go too far. We don't need to know everything about Catherine. What we do long to know is that she's that she's well up and about and soon be um you know taking her place again because um she is a enormous asset to the royal family much loved and much respected and um you know one day she will be our queen a uh, queen consort at any rate and so i think we all wish her well but supposing uh, there could be let's say some moving footage of her walking around the garden with the children i would have thought something like that could be very very reassuring and probably wouldn't be too difficult for her to do or to arrange. A shopping expedition, a visit to a school match, these are all very positive things. Uh, these are things which so-called normal parents do very regularly. It's a thoroughly good thing. The fact that there's no photograph uh, as such <laughs> makes me think that obviously there the wouldn't be from the school, obviously, but there could have been easily a snap taken at the farm shop, I suppose. Um, but uh, maybe that's a good sign as well that people respected her privacy as she was out on a private expedition. There's been a lot of pressure on Kensington Palace and the longer they leave it, I guess, um, the more pressure there will be. So uh, I, I don't know, but let's let's wait and see. There could well be there could well be some kind of an announcement. It was suggested in the Sunday Times yesterday that there will come a point where Catherine, when she's fully better, you know, will in some some way discuss maybe her illness, uh, whatever that may be, um, in an appropriate way. 
that's all very much up in the air, obviously. Should that happen, how much of a benefit will will that be for those in a, a similar situation to Kate? Well, that's certainly been the, um, the, the, the king's approach to things. I mean, he told us that he was going in for prostate examination anyway, that some kind of cancer had been had been uh, identified and was being treated. And as you will know, we see him, uh, I think even yesterday I saw a photograph of him taken rather distantly at Sandringham going to church. So we know he's up and about and we've seen occasional Zooms of him doing things. And he also made a broadcast uh, which was shown in Westminster Abbey last Monday at the Commonwealth Observance. Um, so, you know, we know he's up and about. And if you look at the court circular, you will see him doing various things. All this is very reassuring in the same sort of way as it was when the uh, Queen was in lockdown at Windsor Castle and she took to Zoom in a big way. And so we could see that she was still fulfilling her duties as head of state. So, um, it, it, you know, he certainly has taken that that line. The media... Uh, are very interested in the royal family, which, of course, is a good thing. And, of course, if they aren't given um, news at any particular point, then they very often press for it. If I could sort of put this in a general context, I noticed that, you know, and I've been following the royal family now for many decades, that the times when there was a royal marriage or there was a, a, a state procession, you know, for a jubilee or something like that. Then the media all get terribly excited. They want to cover it. But you can't be doing those things the whole time. And so when things go a bit quiet, it's a time when the media sort of sniff about and look for something to write about. And if somebody has not been seen in public for several months, you can understand that that's the sort of thing that they focus on, which is not very attractive, but it's, I guess, inevitable. I always used to think that all she really needed to do, and this, of course, was when she was Duchess of Cambridge, was to dress beautifully and be a good mother. And we saw plenty of examples of that. Then, interestingly, during the lockdown period, when obviously the Queen was out of the way, at one point Prince Charles had COVID, um, we actually saw quite a lot of her talking, you know, to national health representatives and so forth on Zooms. And I listened to her a lot. And I think she she has combined that with all the other good aspects of being a member of the royal family. Um, the most successful members of the royal family are those who support the monarch and um, don't compete with them. And she has certainly done that absolutely 100 um, percent. She's a huge asset. Um she's she she represents probably the most glamorous element in the royal family as it is today and um she's young she's got a gorgeous family they look absolutely cute whenever they come out um i think i think um you know if you if you'd gone onto a computer and tried to design her you couldn't have come up with somebody better frankly <laughs>